Hi, my name is Stiggy from Cloud9. This is my bot lane guide to Callista Morgana. So I think for Q, Callista Morgana is pretty good. Right now, Callista is probably the strongest AD, if not just on the same level as like Gorky. Uh, but so th that means that any support is going to go really well with Callista. I've heard random suggestions of like NAR support with Callista, but that just means that literally anything will work. But Morgana is actually pretty decently strong because she protects Callista in what she's trying to do. So even though Callista can dodge a lot of CC, there's some there's some spells that she can't dodge. Like against Zanani, she can't really stun, dodge the stun. Just point and click, and it'll always go. Maybe even Eteric. <laughs> kind of kind of Eteric, too. Um, yeah, so it protects her from all the, the fat CC that's undodgeable, basically, in solo queue. Which actually comes pretty often. And I see Annie's a lot nowadays. So other than that, this lane... Does have a very good all in, pretty strong. I'd say it's pretty good for Zolq. Synergy between Callista and Morgana is pretty good. They they work well to, together because of the fact that if Morgana ever lands a bind, that means they're just stuck there, and you can just throw all of your spears on them, and they they will be nearly dead because Morgana can get free out attacks, which procs your W, and then they'll be pretty low already from all the stuff, and then when you finally activate your rend, they'll probably just die. So for that reason, they have pretty strong synergy. And then another reason is the fact that Morgana protects you from all the stuns and stuff that you can't really avoid. Maybe even the ones that you can't avoid she'll protect you from. Just make sure that you can get as many spear stacks as possible. And then at level 6, both of you roaming around together is really strong because the fact that when you throw in Morgana, she can either get a binding off her immediately or get her ulti off and slow him down and just lock him down forever. So pretty good synergy. So, for levels 1 and 2 on Morgana Callista, you kind of want to just play it back a little bit. If you started your W for the uh, Nitro Camp Grand Prix Golems, then you just want to attack together. Don't go too ham because you don't have a actual kill potential yet. When you hit 2, if Morgana does land a bind and there's not a lot of creeps in the way, you guys can try and go for a kill. Uh, your W will activate when you're both allowing bind a target and then they should get low enough from the spears that you might be able to follow up but considering it's still early and you can't get that many spear stacks or have that much probability i would still be careful about it even if you land a binding so i've actually lost a lot of lanes personally doing that trying to all in super early so just be careful about it but you can still try to follow up on the bindings a little bit levels three to four is Callista's strong point and it's kind of morgana's strong point as well uh at level four Three, I'm not actually sure what Morgana might put her extra point into, but she might put it in the two points in Q or maybe her black shield. But guaranteed by four, she'll have all three of her abilities and an extra point in her Q. So they'll be locked down longer. It'll do more damage. Uh, Callista specifically, she gets her huge power spike here. Uh, level three, she has an extra way to stack spears, an extra mobility, and just more damage. And then level four, she gets higher rend damage. So she's pretty strong here. Morgana's pretty strong here. Uh, if if bindings land, try to follow up. You should be able to connect kills off bindings. Um, if not, then it's okay. Um, just try and make sure that you're sending out ghosts to the river, if possible, or behind you. To just make sure to check for the juggler. What you can do is, uh, when the lane's even, if you throw the ghost out in the river, it'll actually just go straight back into the bush if you threw it correctly. So it will create a patrol, patrol path that... The jungler can almost, it's almost impossible for the jungler to avoid a ghost if you throw out at least two. I think I've gotten up to four running at one time without them clearing any. So it's actually really hard to avoid. So levels five to six for Callista and Morgana are pretty strong point. Callista gets three points in her rend at five and then level six. She has a royalty. She can start fights really easily. The same for Morgana. Her binding is super long now, does lots of damage. And then she can actually just get ultis off on her own, but you can actually just start it for her by throwing her in, or you can actually, s a, a, a pretty good shot is just saving it. So when Morgana is going super crazy in, trying to get that double ulti off and the double stun, uh, the second you see the jungler in and he's just super deep, like you, you Morgana super deep, you can just pull him back and he'll be safe. Um, past that, you guys have a lot of damage. And a lot of CC. So you will be able to win all ends if you can get the ulti off without, you know, the jungler coming in and destroying you. So just be careful about it. Make sure you have vision and you should be able to win any all in. So strategy for this lane, uh, just for landing phase, is just to look for bindings and go for kills off them. If you, if she's not landing a binding, Morgana, then kind of useless. Her pool doesn't really do anything early game. It just slowly pokes them down and then... 
Her black shield just protects you. So just keep in mind that if her binding is not hit on the enemy, your support is you're useless is if, if he's not even out attacking either. So if he's out attacking, it's a little bit better, but just be careful of what you're doing and make sure that Morgana can land her ability somewhat. Um, past that, at a landing phase, you guys want to stick together. You both are a very threatening duo. Uh, it's hard for her to get caught, and it's hard for you to get caught, and you both do lots of damage. So... She's going to look for bindings across the map. Maybe you can even follow up. So say she's camping a bush and you're right next to her. She lands a super long range binding. You can even just throw her in immediately and she'll be able to lock up the enemy and they'll just die. So just look look for stuff together and you'll be good. Thanks for watching this guide. If you have any questions, you can follow me and tweet me at C9Sneaky. So make sure to check out my other guides here at lawclass.com.